How's it going, everybody? Back for some more Rudy Tooty Cowboy Shooty. What have we got to do? Fuck you, Uncle. Grandpa Joe looking bitch. Kieran. I don't want to do that anytime soon. I don't know what happens when you do that. And then Javier Escuela. That'll be the getting Sean back uh, mission. So alright, let's let's go fucks with Kieran. Hey Art. Hey. Fella. Stew. Give me some stew. Fine, don't even have stew. My arms is gonna fall off. Speak! Don't cry, boy, speak! About your gang. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horse shit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Uh -huh. Geld him. Oh, yeah! <laughs> What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause <laughs> you trouble. <laughs> you know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. Oh, no, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastard! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll is holed up. And you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. Okay then, partner. Uh, why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. I ain't no O'Driscoll. Well, you sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh... We're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. Ain't forgotten you. He taking us to Cold? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave.
Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like. God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dutch said that you might. I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me, instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey, <laughs> hey, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah, I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. How you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason, hiding behind your woman the way you were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you, if you was in a bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Except in yourself. See, you O'Driscoll? If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what y'all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. Well, you still got those tongs? I got a <laughs> knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. Keep that in your mind, young feller. Right at the forefront of it. Now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. All right, girl. Those are the hills. Head for them. Save your horses, we gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. <laughs> you're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Here, here. Okay, now now cut left up here. We we go down the hill into the forest. I'm we're trying to remember who the, who the voice is for him. As we find him. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Why? Uh, 
a throwing knife, carbine repeater, and my bow. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Come on. Cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Wary of strangers, yep. And Cormo Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The fellow that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. I'm gonna deal with this first floor. Okay, go to work. chance of ages. I'll be stood guard duty, sun up to sun down, soiling my drawers in the spot.
Tom's still here. Hey, he said Tom's be in the cabin. I'll check. You look out here. Now, what you stashing in here? This loot. Oh, this health care business. The boy said Cole would be in the cabin. Yeah, I heard you, John. Just give me a cotton picking second. Set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Come on, Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I, sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como Driscoll's gonna lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. Am I the only one that kept my hat? All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash. In the chimney. I'll check it. The rest of you boys, get to camp, quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> Right you are. What you got in here? Ooh, a lockbox. Some ginseng elixir. Ooh, I saw money. A dollar. The fucking dollar. Oh, would you look at that? Dirty motherfucker. Mm -hmm -hmm. Ain't she a beaut? Something tucked away. Damn. Let 
Don't you motherfuckers heard about keeping shit clean? Kentucky bourbon is all full up. Well, we can't have that, can we? Look, look, look. Can't carry any more canned fruit either. What the hell did I do? I'm wanted Dead or alive to see you. Well, we Good. Got Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. You thought about upgrading the stock? I got some nice ones. Gotta make this bad boy awesome. Gotta make it a nail Dangerous. driver. Yeah, Smart addition. Wide green. That ain't gonna do nothing for it. Styles. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. No, thank you. Stock up on ammo. You never know. I already fixed that up. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Yeah, beautiful condition. Keep it up. Okay, you already I got some nice power of stocks here. I think you should take one. No, I don't think I should. Motherfucker. Old Crawford, a Carmody Dell, had a wagon stolen from the barn. Yeah, who gives a shit? To start with, mind you. A few cents. Thank you for your help. Oh, 
ain't scaring nobody. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in '6. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Done and dusted. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy <laughs> Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Calloway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. You know, oh yeah. Some other flop house. Ooh. Hang on. That man might be the answer to our problems. Well, my problems. Your problems? See if a good sleep can fix those. Bad finger fully.
14 laps and 23 seconds. And I only got like five or six holes in my fingers now. Horsey. Got no sense of urgency, do you? Click my fingers and this town will string you up and call it justice. Just minding my own business. I'm keeping my eyes on you. You looking to prove something here? We'll be sure to keep a bullet warm for you. Just listen out for the accents. Make yourself scarce. Run along. Your mama's expecting you home. You're done here. Carry on with my day now. If you would excuse me for just a few minutes, I've got to do something right quick and I'll be right back.
right. Sorry about that little break. You know how it is. You've got things to tend to around your house. <sighs> as bad as I hate to do it. Let me go ahead and take care of this since I'm so close. They're going to end up making me do it anyway. Try that new uh, sword off I got. been turning the screw on me from day one saying I gotta pay them protection money I told them where to stick it and well I guess you just saw how that panned out if you watch yourself right stay out of trouble I'll try All right, what was I doing? Sucks. Mr. Thomas Downs? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please, I have a family, sir, please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Mr. Strauss seems so understanding. <laughs> if you want the money, you'll have to wait. Be reasonable. <laughs> You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> 
Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman! My husband isn't well! If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money! Let's see when I coughed into Arthur's face. Bueno. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Bad. People who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right then, Arthur. Taking a break. But yes, I plan to keep reading. This is uh, fun. It's amazing. It's the reason he's living. It's the only thing that makes me happy. So the only thing that makes you happy is being your head somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I never thought of it quite like that. You never read? No, I never fancy that. But you can. Maybe one of us will teach you. You awake? What do you want? Sorry. <laughs> it's too tempting. <sighs> I'm going back to sleep. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. 
You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke. Bumping into someone. Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. And they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No. I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. I'm giving that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Girl? Stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off it. What were you boys doing? You were supposed to be scouting ahead for it. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he <laughs> is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Mike knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. It happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. 
Nah, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Here we are. Horse always gets dirty every time I go into this town. How do you do? Hello, lady. This is a hilarious mission. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drum. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, this oh, fucking guy. Killers. My lord. You men is dull. <laughs> You're dirty as fuck. <laughs> dirty as dirty motherfucker. Alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last... Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just trying to be friendly. <laughs> Your mouth, Mr. Look at that soup strainer. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> this first person's a wacky. Oh dear. Oh shit! <laughs> Ran into a pole. <laughs> drunken violence in this town. You're just lucky no one was killed. Hey, we didn't start a thing. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, I don't remember. <laughs> Either you fools got any money, it's $10 and you're free to walk. Sure. Now, get out of here. I don't want to see either you around here no more. No, usually I get away. <laughs> So, that was a quiet drink? First one was pretty quiet. <laughs> yeah, the first one was pretty quiet. At least it took your mind off goddamn Mikey. Well, that's certainly true. I gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna have a little sit down and feel sorry for myself. See Daisy Arthur Morgan. Again. 
I need a bath. That's okay. Can you organize? I got someone warming it up for you already. <laughs> Any assistance in there? You surely can. Oh, sounds good. Yeah, thanks. You can just leave it to me now. <clears throat> You'll leave this place feeling brand new, you know. I'll be out of your hair in no time. Gotta take a break sometime. Life's too short. You're telling me. I don't have gossip around here. Yes, that's how it is around here. Always been. Ain't often to get a hot bath and a roof over my head. Oh, really? What do you do in your free time? Oh, I don't know. I'm just trying to get out of this town is all. So you must have a feller. Now, that's a question you shouldn't ask a lady, dear. Well, at least this ain't awkward. <laughs> You're so funny. Oh, you do feel tense. All right, I think that should do it. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> Need another nap? Thank you. Really. Ooh, is there a card game going on there? Good job! <laughs> uh, hello, Spare a seat here if you want. Nah. <laughs> Scared the devil out of them poor folk. This is your bluffing. Yes, sir. What the hell right then. Okay. Four sheets to five winds before you even set foot in the door. Takes his bourbon. Got a pair. Here we go. I know you ain't got shit. Um. Uh. Well, that don't worry me none. Pastor found him up behind the church house with a book of matches. Says it looked like just this for me. Call him. But you tell me if that's the mm. mind at ease. What's this place coming to? Two pair. Uh. Keep things cagey. Should have stopped four shots ago. Go all in. I'm gonna go. Well, oh, look yeah. at you. We'll see about that. Duh! Here. Well, looky here. No way. Oh, man. Well done. Woo! That's 
to mother load. Maybe we can use that money to shave that ugly ass mustache. Shit. Total shit. See you next time. Need some way to pass the morning. Thanks, partner. Mister? Let's go down to the old livery and see if I can get a saddle or something. Oh, shut your ass. Some stable space to rent if you're interested. Is this my horse? Why is she so dirty? You know, a horse can tell when you're using a cheaper sum. tell you how many times I use that one. It's well worth the price. Yeah, that'll go real well with the saddle. That's a good choice. High quality. Oh yeah, that's a smart it's like, choice. It's like hood sound. ornaments. Hmm. That's the same one I use too. I can't tell you how many times I use that one. Oh, the horse will really nope, nope. Really like this. I'll miss that next. Real good one. All right, what do we got to do now? I guess I'll go see old Mary. Valentine to Rhodes in less than five minutes. That won't be no trouble. Rhodes is down this way, I do believe. Pretty sure. We'll do that in just a few minutes. Gotta call my old girl right quick.
Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. No, damn. <laughs> Greeted me with the iron. A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Was she cute? Mary. Um, I heard you and your friends was around. I. Okay. Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So. Uh, You've been made a widow, and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. I... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help them? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. <laughs> Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. The Chelonians? They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that Daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. The Chelonians? The fuck's a Chelonian? Off 
Oh, damn it. Go, Ellie. Oh shit. Please cut me free. Oh, what is the matter with you? Um, you're welcome. Give it a save. Speak to the boy. Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? 
This fucking guy. I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my god and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? I have no idea. Um, uh, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Hey, <laughs> you love turtles. I love them too. <laughs> turtles. <laughs> Jamie knows the truth, but of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Shalonia. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Delima, Delima. Just stop. Let's talk about this. Where's Kellyma? Can I lasso him? Sorry. They're just using you. Telling you what you want. I guess. So. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Yeah. Jamie, your sister's worried about you. I was doing just fine by myself. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way. I don't have to answer to you. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. Jamie, just hold up a minute. You pop up out of nowhere? Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, mister. What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends. If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you. I swear it. What are you talking about? You ain't no killer. What you gonna shoot me with your turtle gun? See your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I miss you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yep. Well, this wasn't... Oh, Arthur, shit. 
You're slipping in your old age. Anyway, you were saying. Well, this wasn't how I thought what today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid. Like I have to disturb the piece this fool did. This time I saw you, you didn't try to kill yourself. Yep. Thank God. I don't see any more of them. Okay, can you please just get me back to Mary now before I change my mind and run back to the Chelonians? Fucking the Chelonian. What the fuck? Shut the fuck up. We going in then? Jamie! Jamie! Come home! Please, you've... Father's been very sad. Father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Ooh, a bounty. The 
Look here. If you want to catch another center bounty hunter, take a gander at the poster there. Well, it looks like trouble, all right. That one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. Come on, girl. Wow, thank you. Well done, girl. Well, I think this is where I'm going to have to stop for a bit.